So conveyancing is the act of either buying or selling property. If you're looking to purchase a property from a housing association, one of the first things that you'll do once you've found that property is pay your reservation fee over to the housing association. Once you've done that, you need to appoint a solicitor and it's always beneficial to try and find a solicitor that knows about shared ownership purchasing. Conveyancing is a, a very important process. Quite often it involves a lot of technical documents relating to property which buyers won't necessarily always understand or find that interesting but it's really important that the conveyancing process takes place so that the buyer has some protection from their solicitor and knows that they can legally enjoy the property. Where they're having a mortgage it's also essential because the lender will want to know that someone has been through the documentation and made sure that that property is legally safe for the buyer to enjoy then what they'll ask you to do is to supply some documents. They'll want to see your identification documents, proof of name, proof of address. That will involve things like a driving license or a passport, a bank statement, and also proof of where you have your deposit, which is highly likely, hopefully, to be in your bank account. Once you've done that, they'll also ask you to pay fees for the searches, which they'll do later on down the line of the transaction. Once you've gone through those stages, they're able to then open the file. Meanwhile, the Housing Association solicitors will have produced a sales pack which will contain all of the documents that will enable you to purchase the property. In that sales pack, there'll be things like the contract, the shared ownership lease, the title documentation, planning permission, something called a Section 106 agreement, which is a planning document that allows for the affordable housing to be built on the development. There's other things that will be contained in that pack, but your solicitor will go through those with you further on in the transaction. Once the pack comes over to your solicitor, they'll then start looking at all of the documents. And once they've satisfied themselves that they're happy with the documents, it's likely that at that point, they'll submit your searches. The search applications are sent off electronically through a variety of different search organisations and one by one those searches will come back. The different searches that will be done will be a local search, an environmental search, possibly a coal mining search if the property is in a coal mining area, a drainage search which is to determine whether or not the property is connected to mains, water and foul sewage and an environmental search. Once those searches have been sent off, the solicitor is then likely to start raising inquiries with the Housing Association solicitors. So they'll send out to them any questions that they've got about the paperwork that they've seen. There might be missing documents, for example, that they want to get hold of. They might have some questions over some of the clauses in the contract. They might want to question some of the provisions that are in the lease. The sweepstake moment is at the point whereby all of the searches are back and checked. If there's any queries on those, that will also be raised with the seller's solicitors. And also the replies have come back from the Housing Association solicitors to the inquiries raised. It's at that point that your solicitor will produce a contract report which will basically give you information about all of the paperwork and explain to you what it is that you're doing in terms of the legal transaction. With the contract report will come the contract for signature. They may even at that stage send you a copy of the shared ownership lease for signature. Alternatively, if they don't do it via email or post, they may ask you to come into their office in order to take you through the paperwork. If you're then satisfied with the paperwork that you've been sent and any queries that you've then got, you've raised and had answers back from your lawyer, then they'll ask you to sign the contract and return it to them. At this point, there will be a negotiation between your lawyer and the Housing Association solicitor to determine what the completion date is going to be. If the property hasn't yet been built, then it will be exchanged on what we classify as on notice, which means that in the contract it will say that on service of notice by the Housing Association solicitor, they'll give you 14 days and completion could be, you know, three months or even six months um, in advance. If the property has actually been built, then they'll serve notice and they'll, at exchange, you'll know exactly what the date is that you're completing the transaction. 
Then comes completion. So between exchange and completion, you'll be sent something called a completion statement. The completion state will set out exactly what the balance of money is due from you, taking into account the amount that's coming in from your mortgage lender. You will be asked to send that money in advance of completion. You will also be asked to sign the shared ownership lease. You'll be asked to sign the mortgage deed to commit to making payments under the mortgage offer and then completion can take place. On the completion date, the buyer solicitor sends all of the monies that are due to the seller solicitor so that they can complete the transaction and the keys can be released to the buyer. Quite often, the housing association will be available on site to hand the keys over to the buyer and make sure that they have everything they need to move into their new property. When um, instructing a solicitor, we would recommend that any buyer speaks to that solicitor first to find out any costs that will be involved in the transaction and ask for a, a full breakdown of what those costs may be. Sometimes there could be some hidden costs, so it's really important that you ask the right questions and find out that you know everything about the, the costs involved in that transaction.